Welcome to Deep Thought. Never feel you are powerless. This is very important. Now, you know what? I'll share something with you. The Well, the day I'm recording it, the previous day, I had to, uh, I had to kind of jump on this platform, one of my income streams. They were late in pl- paying a brother. They were late in paying a brother. They messed up my sales goal for the month. Well, technically they didn't. Uh, I made the sales goal, but I had a higher goal. Always go higher. But that's kind of a business channel thing. But I had, I reached out to them. Now, usually they'll come through because they did this before and they came through in time. But I was like, okay, this is a little too late. So I reached out to them. Now, I found out just by like making some noise, being a squeaky wheel, that they had, uh, there was some problem overall. And they had to change something with how they did uh, payments and stuff because they did payments to a third party and they did it a certain way. So they said they were working on it and they promised to get me the money. I mean, they're going to get me the money. Like I said, it just messed my, my goal for the month, you know, and that's something to talk about on my business channel. But I was thinking about that because I've seen situations like that before where people would see something happen and they don't want to say anything. They don't want to be a squeaky wheel. They'll say, oh, they'll come through. I'm like, no, you let them know. That's your money. Oh, trust me. <laughs> I've caused some trouble when it comes to my money. I don't I don't play around when we talk about that. But the point is it inspired this particular thing because y'all know how I do on Deep Thought. Everything is just about thinking. That's it. That's it. And just real quick, because someone had uh, made a request, which yeah, I don't take requests on this channel like that anyway, but on something that had to do with religion. I don't promote any specific paths. I don't. And even a few times they sound like I might, uh, trust me, it's unintentional. So I wanted to get that out. But getting back to just living life, period, never feel like you're powerless. You never know. Because maybe I might have been the person that shined the light on it. I mean, of course, some other people probably didn't get paid, and hopefully they complained as well. But sometimes people, they don't raise their voice. They don't say anything. And that's always been me. There's numerous times when I saw something wrong, and I didn't want to wait for an answer or wait for somebody to come through. It's like uh, like in a complex I live in. Oh, they know I'm a squeaky wheel. I got a reputation for being a squeaky wheel. They, they got to the point, I, I make some, I, I, if I call in like uh, some repair that needs to be done, they'll come that day. And that's usually not what they would do. They would come at some point. And there's been a couple times when it'd be an emergency and they'd be taking their time. And then after Ron raised some hell, <laughs> I raised some hell. Shoot, I call, they, they, they here before I like get off the phone. It's like, uh, we can't play with him anymore. But the whole point is, don't feel like you're powerless. Even if you're not, you know, you ain't some, uh, you know, big superstar. You don't have all that status. But you never know how your voice can make a difference. Your voice. Remember, you can have an influence. Sometimes you might be the one. You might be the one who push it over. You might be the one, like, okay, in that situation, say a bunch of people uh, complain. I might have been, you might have been, well, I tend to be the one, but you might be the one who you catch that person, the right person at the right time, and they make something happen. Even in how you say stuff to them, even how you like make a complaint or something or try to get something done. See, one of the worst things is when you see stuff happening and you don't say anything. Seriously. And, you know, that could be on getting some repair, getting your money. Definitely say it for getting your money. Seeing some wrong that's happening in your neighborhood, you might have to be the one to call the police. I know people are talking about some no snitching and all that, but, uh, you know, that's for criminals. Get the noise. You, If something's happening, something's bothering you, sometimes you need to, like, speak up, especially if it can affect you. But the thing is, never feel like that you can't do anything. See, I'm going to tell you what. The they's, 
and y'all notice I'm still not uh, calling any names, but let's just say there's numerous days and it's not a metaphysical thing. There's always uh, people, groups, and positions of power always trying to push their agenda. So, but one of the things is the days they operate with the assumption, and it's a correct assumption, that people ain't going to do anything. A lot of people just go through life just taking some bullshit. Just taking it. And that's the worst thing you can do. It's like you deal with bullies. One of the things that, I mean, I've told my sons, if they ever encountered a bully in school, bust them in the face. Because, and I, I ain't saying I'm encouraging violence, because my thing is, and their mother's thing is, don't start nothing but finish it. Because the thing is, if you don't do anything, it keeps going. Like, if, like say, with this situation with the money, what if I didn't say anything? They would have paid eventually. But then it might have been longer the next time, longer the next time and stuff. And it's not money I need for anything in particular, but it's still money. A penny is a penny. So, but what if it was a situation I needed to pay uh, uh, some bills with that money? You know, what if somebody, like somebody else, they, you know, they pay their rent or mortgage with the money? You know, or their car note, something that could have a serious repercussion if they don't pay it. You know, you never know. But sometimes people will just sit there and take it and take it. I'm like, forget that noise. See, you never know. You go say, hey, sometimes that uh, a well-placed complaint at a place of business saying something can make a big difference. In fact, I'll tell you one time with me, and this was some crazy stuff. This was years ago. I went to a bank, and I don't know. I forgot what it was. I don't know what they were trying to say, but they were giving me some trouble about cashing my check. And there was, uh, even though I had an account at the bank, I was like, wait a minute, this don't make a bit of sense. This don't make, make one bit of sense. Now, I didn't just take it and all of that. Oh, I raised so much hell. Let's just say some people were fired after I got through. Because I was like, oh, hell no. Because I said, hold up. I even explained it because I went over their heads. I said, wait a minute, I got an account at the bank. I've had an account at the bank for a long time. And all, you know, one smart ass teller had to do was just look it up. You know, that's all they had to do. And I forgot what the issue was, but like I said, um, up to the manager got fired (laughs) after I get through because I was like, this is crazy. But who else have they done that to? You know, and how do I know there wasn't some racial element to it? But I spoke up. I spoke up and raised some hell. So never think you're powerless. All right. So anyway, that's all I have for today. I want y'all to think on it, you know, speak up. Don't be afraid to speak up, all right? And I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.